the world famous Whirlpool dishwasher again. It's broken. Oh yeah, kind of works. This thing, the dispenser, it's cracked over here and it leaks the uh, the blue stuff all out of here, all out of here. And this leaks, 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 leaks. It's messed up. So I bought another one for 45 bucks, which is a total rip off. They were about 45 bucks. Now the price is like 70. Here's a new part. I don't know why it rattles. Maybe it's broken. I have no idea. We'll see when I put it in. But you have to separate the door ends. It's T15 Torx all around it and you have to unscrew the whole thing t15 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 i'm not sure if the handle has to come out yet let's go see if we can change this thing out see if this thing works same size looks like it yeah there's two different styles of these things oem whirlpool dispenser commonly breaks on these or the door doesn't open or it cracks this one that leaks, very annoying. Then put slime all over your dishes. The very top screws, if you're taking this panel off, they're long. The rest of them are short. See, long, short. Keep that in mind. Top one only, long, rest, short. These might be long too. I haven't taken them out yet. These long. Okay, long. So all along the top, long screws when you're putting it back together. Uh, top, long screws, side, short screws. T15. Say I'm changing the dispenser, I don't know. And did I tell you where you find your model number? Sticker? I don't know, but there you go, now I do. There's two different styles of these. Isn't it? Let's make sure the uh, the part number matches your model number and you'll be fine. Short screw. Oh, it's coming off now. I need two hands to hold it. Yeah, like everything in this house, it's all skeeved out and sticky on the sides. But I don't think I'll need to remove the whole thing. I can get to it right here on the back side. Uh, we've got wiring connections with clips. I don't think we need to mess with. There's one wiring connection over here. And this pops out somehow. Oh, actually, clips. It's clipped in. Two tabs. One tab. Two tab. See, that's what holds it in. And three, four. Okay, there's a couple little tabs. So I might need a little flat blade screwdriver. I never even watched anyone's video. I don't care. There's a control panel up there. Interesting. Yeah, this just lifts up. You can get the whole thing off if I want to. And this for the light. Oh, cool. Goes through there. Interesting. Never taken one apart before. Now I did. PVC and it's cracked. Oh well. It's fine. Uh, wedge it open. See PVC. Can't weld that. That's how I use PVC, PVC cement. Uh, wiring, skeeve. I'm not sure if this thing comes out. This connector, uh, the wires have to go through over here. We'll figure it out in a minute. Around here, and around the clip. Give it slack. And somehow, it disconnects. The green is part of it. This is not. Maybe it's welded on. Like uh, pry up over here. That white is and then pry the, the green back pops off. Interesting. This connector not damaged. Now this is just a pry job I think. To get this thing on with the clips. That's all I say here. Yeah. Just pry it out. All your connections right here. One, two, wherever there's a tab. Pry it, pry it, pry it. Okay, this one rattles too. You see it just leaks all over the place. I don't know why. Leaks that dish detergent stuff all over the place. And it's cracked over here. 
Yeah, what you could do too is just clean all this up, put a screwdriver so you don't latch it. That kind of pissed me off. I kind of want to glue that, but I don't have anything that will do that. That's just from the heat from the vent. This is all funky, and this is funky in here. I also bent those tabs back a little more. Because when you're, you're prying it, you just keep working it. I would show you when I was prying it, but I was having a hard time. You'll figure it out. It's not very hard. Here, 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 here. That looks fairly well. Clean up all this. I want to reassemble this. Because no one cleans dishes. New unit, remember how you put it in? This side is on the right, that side left, or something like that. Should just pop her in. Oh, you break that thing down. I think I just broke this. No, no, I actually think I just broke that. Oh well, we'll fix that later. That should be in nice and tight, fully seated. Well, what did I do over here? That broke over here. Oh, I broke all this off. Okay, that's fine. That's back on. This thing sucks. But, uh, yeah, junk pile next to the washing machine. Um, that should be all good. All in their flips. Wiring connection. And uh, start reassembling. This one has to go in a little more, you can tell. And uh, check all our fingers out. Make sure they're all seated. Basically, push, keep pushing in from that back side over here and applying pressure until you hear no more clicking. I heard it pop like three times and now it stopped. It's all, all the way in. Then wiring connection back in. It'll loop your wires to the little thing over there. The holder. Um, there's that clip we were fighting with before. Boom. And we're not fighting with it now. It's all cool. Wiring's all nice. Wiring's all nice. Alright, good, good, good. That looks nice. Okay, let's we'll put a panel back on. I hate that. I wish I had cement or epoxy for that, but whatever. It was like that. You're gonna find stuff broken on an old unit. Control board. Make sure all this stuff is tight too. One time this thing wasn't working. I'd imagine I had a loose connection somewhere once. Whoops, don't do that. That front panel isn't hinged though, it was. It's just weird when you take it off. And you go, it just snaps right back on. Start firing in your screws, don't tighten them all yet. Remember the four long ones go across the top. Still a T15, the size hasn't changed. Ha ha ha. 34. Dirty dishwasher. Let's put them in all loose for now. Make sure it all squares up. And go around with your final fitment and torque. And uh, hopefully it works without leaking. It was actually loose again with those clips. I went around it one more time and it made the popping sounds. Cause this whole thing is um flexy when I it's missing that back panel. This thing's messed up too. Note that how it fit before it's warped over there. It's an old unit. It'll last another couple of years hopefully. If I keep fixing it. So that's how you do it. Find a cheap part. Don't pay $75 for it. That's a little extreme. And uh, hopefully it works and it doesn't leak all over the damn place. I'm tired of it getting all over the place. Just makes all your dishes sticky. But it's an old hurting unit. But can't afford new things, so fix what you have. 215. I gave it a little pressure too on the side. Keep it all square. And any T15 in the unit, I didn't show what went to part. You can go around and check if it's tight. I found a couple loose ones in there. Like over here. Make sure it's tight over here. Make sure it's tight. Because things do loosen on these over time. 
torque spec, no idea. I'll probably come back with this with a socket and a ratchet and make them real nice. A warp spot right there, it's warped. And the latch is crucial. Should be good. Let's see if she closes. There's no weird things. It's not hitting. It's good. Hit a little bit over here. I don't know why. I might have bent it. That's weird. We'll figure out what's going on with that. Rubbing on the side? I'm not sure. Maybe I bent it. That's better now. Perfect. That was all it needed. All right, we're good. Excellent. Hopefully it works. I'll do an update. It's all slimy. Wow, like new. This thing was all loose on mine too. It kept on moving around. I don't know why. It should be okay. Uh, also, go around probably after a couple of runs and check all your screws again. Why not? Yeah, T15 Torx driver. Get a driver or a, a bit on a ratchet. That'll be just fine. Old one. I don't know parts. I have no idea. Oh, it's leaking. It's leaking all over. All over. It's crap over here. I don't know why. It leaks all over the place on the bottom. It was worn out. Time for a change. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good one. Share if you. No people who fix dishwashers at home because everybody wants too much money for everything. All right, let's go transfer this into that. Don't see anything because no one puts the lights on, but it's fine and there's no more sticky stuff leaking out of it, so it actually works again.